How you doing, man? You're on September next to Burn Winter, big dog. How does it feel? Hey, it feels good. I ain't gonna lie. I feel good to be heard a little bit. That's it. It feel good. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> right now, I mean, we're going through a lot right now with this pandemic, with this election. Yeah. You know what I mean? How how is yeah. it, how is that affecting you right now? Um, it kind of threw off a little bit of my plans a little bit, but not too bad. You know, I'm learning how to work with it and keep mm -hmm. moving forward. That's it. That's all you can do. <laughs> yeah, where, where you from? Uh, from Miami. Get out of here. What part of Miami you from? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Peron. Peron, like Richmond Heights area. Like man, more down south. Man, quit playing, man. You don't know about 152nd and the power plant. Bro. Come on, man. Hey, that's it right there. Come on, man. School. You don't know nothing about them Richmond Heights middle school Raiders, boy. You don't know nothing about it. <laughs> Come on, man. I went to school right there at Cool Reef from 152nd. Huh? Man, you a Barracuda. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro, you don't know nothing about it, man. I went to, all right, I went to Co Colonial Drive Elementary School. I went to Middle I went, Middle yeah, I went there School. too. <laughs> I went to Miami Palmetto and I went to Miami Killian. You don't know nothing oh. about, <laughs> yeah. about Richmond Heights. <laughs> you hey, know, those, those are schools right there, man. I went I went to Colonial too. I went there. I went to uh, Palmetto Middle, but I went to Coral Reef for high school. And then, yeah. Okay, that's dope, man. That's dope. That's dope. Coral Reef represent. Yeah. Oh, so you from Miami? So we from the crib. We, we yeah, got, yeah. Got, oh, you, got, you from, you from the crib? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay, dope. okay. That's dope. Well, man, I can't. I came to Atlanta for college, and I never left. So <laughs> yeah, hey, you know I'm, I'm down. I'm still in Florida. I'm still in Florida. I'm in Boca right now for college. Okay, okay. Oh, so you go to FA Florida Atlantic? Yes, sir. Okay, dope. That's dope. That's dope. So I mean, how long? How long have you been doing music, bro? Um. Be honest, man. I just started doing music. Like, uh -huh. I want to say when the pandemic started, oh, I started wow. doing music. That's recent. Yeah, like recent, like <laughs> yeah. recent, man. All right. So, so what made you? What made you pick up the pen and the pad and jump on the Pro Tools? Man, I just felt like I felt like I had like some something on my mind, and I felt like people needed to hear me. That's that's what, that's kind of why the song name "Hear Me Out" because like uh -huh. I felt like COVID it messed up a lot of things that I wanted to do, and it's like I felt like I ain't have nothing to like fall towards. So I was like, man, let me just start writing music, telling people how I feel. That's it. And hopefully it'll get through to them. Dope. That's dope. That's definitely yeah. dope, man. I mean, I feel like I feel like with, with, with your background, you know what I mean? And especially coming from where we come from. Yeah. You know, like it's real, it's real easy for you to choose the wrong direction. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's, it's, easy. it's easy. It's easy to go down that road. Yeah, because it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's right there. It's all around us. You yeah, exactly. I mean? so for you to so for you to you know take the road of higher education. You know what I'm yeah. saying. You know pursue that, and then you know want to tell your story through music. I definitely yeah. feel like you know it's gonna it's gonna come with that meaning. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's gonna come with yeah. some substance to it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, just from you know, what I mean, just knowing you know the information that I know about you now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So the song, so the song, hear me out now. You just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna put it up on these platforms, and it just, you know what I'm saying? It just went. Yeah, up. man. Hey, it's just doing. <laughs> it's doing a little something. I hope. I'm hoping to get bigger, but uh -huh. hey, man, I can't complain. <laughs> okay. I mean, what, what made you? What made you like think? You know what? This, this song is so dope. I'm about to enter it in that next to burn. For Hot because, 179 in Atlanta. Because, like, first I hadn't even put the song out and I was letting some people hear it, man. And, uh, like, I let I let a few girls hear it. And before you knew it, like, they kept sending me snaps, like, singing the song, like, I'm just trying to tell you how I feel. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know, the girls is the audience, man. You get yeah, through to them, absolutely. you can get through to anybody. So it's like, right. man, I don't know. I, I put it out there and I also put, like, a snippet of it on uh, Instagram. And I got a lot of good feedback on it. So like when I put it out, uh, when I like when I dropped the whole EP, uh, like people were sending me videos listening to the Hear Me Out song. I was like, man, hey, that might be the one. Man. <laughs> that could be the one. <laughs> look, you, you ain't never gonna go wrong with, with getting, yeah. uh, getting the female research and the female opinion and hey. feedback. They go, they go, yeah, they, man. Up. they go keep it real. They go tell you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, um, so, I, so you know, outside of that, like, what type of music do you do you listen to? Like, if if like, when all right, I got a better question. 
what was the first album that you went and you picked up and you bought with your own money? Uh, oh, that's hard because I got no, I got Apple Music and I got stuff like that, so I just be picking here and there. Uh-huh. But uh, I would say I don't even. Yeah, I don't even know, man. You ain't uh, never went to the store and bought a CD before. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we got we got the phones now, man. I just I just pick a lot of, but like an artist. Uh, okay, I like Meek. Meek is really good. Okay. Yeah, and um, who else? I listen to a lot of like Ji. Like I listen to a lot of like um, uh, yeah. See, I kind of listen to a lot of underground rappers too, man. Like, right. Okay. Coming out of Miami, we got like Chad and stuff like that. So I listen to them too, but. I can't really say that I went and bought like an album from somewhere because I just download a lot of music and listen to it. Dope. Dope, dope, yeah. dope. So um, so all right. So like, what what else would you want the people to know about? You know what I'm saying? Your music moving forward. You know what I mean? Because you know this is this isn't something that you know a lot of people get the opportunity for. Mm-hmm. You know, I, listen, I've been in Atlanta for a long time. And sometimes I go outside of work and I got CDs on my car and you know what I mean? Like you yeah, know, like yeah. a, lot people, a lot of people are trying to, trying to get to this position in, in their career as, as an artist. You know what I mean? What would you want the people to know about you being that you're such a new artist, you know what I'm saying? And, and your music. I would like the people to know like, Hey, like that. I'm just, I'm a genuine artist. Like stuff that I talk about, man, it's not like, I haven't been through it before. It's not like it's stuff that I haven't did. Like I write stuff and like it really come from the heart, you know? So I want people to actually listen to it. Like, because what you hear nowadays is like, you hear a bunch of like this and that and like the guns and all of that stuff. And I just want people to know that that's not me. Okay. And I'm just writing what I feel. So mm-hmm. that's really what I want to know. And I want them to get something out of it. Like when I write something and you listen to it, I want you to be like, hey man, okay. All right, this guy might have just changed like the mood of my like my mood for the day or something like that, you know. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I want them to know that it's genuine. Dope, dope, dope. So, where'd you get your name from, Smitty? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, my teammates just started calling me Smitty. <laughs> they started calling me Smitty, man. I was like, hey, all right. At first, it was like more or something like that, man. But uh, we ain't gonna talk about that, but like. <laughs> But like now, uh, my yeah, my teammates just started calling me Smitty, man, and then like all of a sudden, a lot of people just started calling me. That I was like, hey, man, I'm gonna just use Smitty then. Okay, okay. Smitty so, might be so, Smitty. You in, so you in the athletics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also play football and rugby. So oh man, right. so, you, so you played football <laughs> at Corey. So you played yeah. Football. Okay. Yeah. Let me let us say you play. So you used to be on the park playing for the Richmond Giants, and you know what I'm saying. Oh, I played for them. Yeah, I played for Richmond too. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I played for Richmond too. Man, man that's funny, man. Because you know, coming up, you know, my my um, you know, my era, you know, mm-hmm. one of my best friends that came from that era was Sean Taylor. We grew up around the corner, like we grew up on the same street. Yeah. My mom used to drop him off at, at school when when. Yeah. You know, when together at Richmond yeah um at Killian me and his dad are like me and coach Peter like this so you know what I'm saying just to um you know what I mean just to see a, another person from my area that's you know what I mean doing positive things and, and and going down that right that right path man I definitely want to salute you on that you know what I'm saying because I know, it, man. You know, I, I know what it takes I know yeah. you know what I mean I, I've watched it I've seen you know people that have enormous amounts of talent with athletics you know, yeah. get caught up in the wrong thing and, and they go down the wrong path, bro. But to see that you're, you know what I mean, doing your education, that you're you, you performing in athletics, you, you pursuing music, you know what I mean? You're just taking all the right steps, bro. And I definitely yeah. want to salute you on that, dog. You know what I mean? Because I know where you're it. coming from there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what, much appreciated, my G. <laughs> so, all right, so, you know, pandemic hit you know what i mean I, I don't think y'all was able to have homecoming and stuff like that so you know you know you got to turn up and y'all you you on campus right no no no. i live right off campus like right, right. behind campus. Right, well shit i know i know that y'all gonna have the off campus <laughs> homecoming parties cracking yeah. so make sure that you know what i mean you do you do a little you know homecoming concert for the for yeah the, for i'll the do a little song yeah <laughs> 
know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, got, you got you now. It's up to you to bring the homecoming vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, okay, man. Well, you, know, bro, I, I, you know, I know you got things to do, bro. I don't want to take up too much of your time, man, but I definitely want to salute you, man. Our next to burn winner. You know what I mean? I think it's a great platform, you know what I mean, for independent artists that's trying to come up that, you know, may not get the recognition that, you know, that, that they deserve. You know what I mean? So I definitely want to see you use the platform, bro, and, and keep, you know what I mean, grinding, keep working. You know what I mean? You made it this far, so guess what? Yeah. Another step for and you. Look at that. You know, what I mean? keep, keep, going. Keep, yeah. keep going, bro, and keep performing, Try bro. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? And, and keep doing your thing, bro. I want to salute you, bro. Hey, much appreciated, man. I will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my foot on the pedal, man. That's all, all right. I can do. And when, and when, when outside open back up, bro, you come to the A, man. We definitely gonna have you in the studio. We definitely gonna turn up for you. You know what I mean? Make that movie with you on the radio, bro. You know what I mean? So as soon as outside open up, we got you. All right, no problem, man. Hey, I appreciate it. I'm down for it. I can't wait, man. I right, definitely, man. Make sure that we connect, IG, all that good stuff. You know, I'll make sure I follow you back, all that stuff, and we stay connected, homie. All right, no problem, my G. All right, man. Well, honey. Hey, God bless.